going to be where Keenum's going to try to work the ball on the boundary. Keenum steps into it. Pass is caught. Diggs! Sideline! Touchdown! Unbelievable! Vikings win it! see Marcus Williams here he has a shot I'm not sure really what he's thinking Joe he comes in he's got him dialed in and he just all he's got to do is make a play and even if he catches it you tackle him in bounds the game is over and I know Diggs he's he's catching this he's expecting somebody to hit him and he turns around heck nobody's there and he's off to the races and it's pandemonium 61 brilliant yards for Stefan Diggs and Case Keenum has just taken the Minnesota Vikings to the NFC Championship game in a game none of us will soon forget. Well, by rule, they got to kick this. <laughs> they got to kick this extra point. I don't know how they're going to get that done. Case Keenum cannot believe it, nor can anyone else. I just, I just simply don't know what Marcus Williams was thinking. For a guy who's had such a great career, I mean, excuse me, a great year here in his rookie season, but what a finish for this Minnesota Vikings team. Incredible. Game manager, journeyman. How about NFC champ game quarterback now? Case Keenum, incredible. The Vikings didn't quit, the Saints didn't quit. What a game, and Minnesota wins it. And they'll take on the Eagles late next Sunday. Pretty remarkable, and you see they're going high-low with boundary routes. Wow. We talked about all the tough losses that this organization has had over the years, and to have the improbable happen here today. Really imagine how happy Mike Zimmer is and Pat, Pat Shermer. Shermer. Pretty unbelievable. Three of the four remaining teams that are left in the tournament have never won the Super Bowl. And we're going to have championship game quarterbacks named Keenum, Foles, Bortles, and Brady. What a weekend next week. Mike Pereira. Yeah, you know, they're actually reviewing this play. You do have to extend the kick the extra point in, in uh, regular time, not in overtime. But Gene Sterator is still overlooking at the play. And obviously what they're reviewing is to make sure that he didn't step out of bounds, which he didn't. But right after he makes the announcement that it is a touchdown, then they'll have to, as Troy said, somehow get teams lined up to kick an extra point. And somehow, I don't know how this delay could take this long. Here's the call. After Finally. review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. <laughs> However, we do have to kick the point after touchdown. We must kick the extra point to finalize the game. Stephon Diggs up to get it, down the sideline and in. And the Vikings are going to the NFC Championship game for the first time since they were in it, losing in heartbreaking fashion in overtime in New Orleans to the Saints back in the 09 season. As we heard Gene Steratore say, they, they, <laughs> by rule, they got to kick this extra point. Well, they can't do it with Chris Myers out on the field. I, I, I don't know. How, we may be here a while. They got to clear everybody off the field, and they'll at least snap it. Chris is still trying to get interviews. By the way, the Saints are gone. <laughs> They're off the field. There's what? One, two, 
About three Saints still left out there. As they play the replay on the video board, just absolutely breathtaking. I'm not sure in all my years, Joe, I've ever seen anything like that. So they make the announcement that they're going to have to snap it one more time. And the Saints will not be out there. Case Keenum's out there. He's got, he's got an entourage of photographers. This is one of those games that goes down in history. On this 61 yarder to Stefan Diggs, basically last gasp. And the last gasp, they came up with air and came up with a touchdown and came up with a chance to go to Philly and now a chance to have a home game in Super Bowl 52, but a tough Philly team waits with that great defense. It's going to be some matchup next week. You know, Marcus Williams is going to have to live with this for the entire offseason and, quite frankly, for the rest of his career. And you just wonder when he comes up if he's worried that he doesn't want to pass interfere. It's around the 35-yard line or so as to when the catch was made. You know, how does he play it? And he <laughs> obviously did not play it well. And it's game over. How about Stephon Diggs? Had two in week one against the Saints. Had eight touchdown catches on the year, and that's the biggest catch and run of his life. The fifth round pick from Maryland. And we're still waiting for the last snap. This is just kind of borderline ridiculous. Keenan will run the two point conversion. Yeah. Here come the Saints back out. And of all people, Thomas Morstead, who we've watched gasping for air and clutching his chest, is going to come back What's out and line up time? on the defensive line. Got a shot. Pat Shermer, who is likely headed for a head coaching spot. If you believe the rumors, either Arizona or the Giants. But he will try to coordinate the offense for a date with the Eagles and as I said a terrific defense in Philadelphia and the skull chant led by the new hero Case Keenum. The most anticlimactic moment in the history of the NFL. Four lead changes over the final three minutes, one second. Diggs, Keenum, the heroes, and the Vikings are moving on. one of the best plays in the history of the Minnesota Vikings in their 57th season in franchise history with a hero Case Keenum. Here's Chris Myers. Joe the Vikings waited a long time for this. Adam Thielen they had to wait a little longer for that final snap. But first of all congratulations the game of your life the throw of your life and uh, tell me about the last play desperation time to dig for the win. Yeah man I mean <laughs> I can't even explain it, man. I mean, we were definitely in desperation mode. Just tried to give my guy a chance, and Diggs, made a heck of a play. Made a lot of plays today. Uh, you got to give our guys credit, man. We fought to the very end, and uh, that's special, man. That's that's one of the most special, special times of my life. You had to be thinking just maybe a, a, a penalty and give me a, a chance at a field goal here at that situation, right? I mean, you were down to your last out. Yeah, we missed a few there early. We knew you needed to get a chunk, and then uh, you know, try to get into field goal range, but... Uh, I mean, with last play, I mean, I, I don't even know what just happened, man. It's crazy. Craziest game you ever been in. This place is going crazy, and it's a special mark, not only Viking NFL history. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't even know right now. I, I can't, I have no words. You, you asked me about this moment, 
what this moment has meant to me is, is probably going to go down as the third best moment of my life behind Jesus, giving my life to Jesus Christ, marrying my wife, and uh, and this one's right there close. Well, all great moments. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you in Philadelphia thank next you. Sunday. All right, it. Case Keenum, Joe. 61 yards on third and 10 with no timeouts and 10 seconds left. The State Farm Post Game Show is coming up. That look says it all. What a game. Until next Sunday, so long from Minneapolis.